So today we are working on a 2010 Toyota Corolla and we are just uh, repairing the loose heat shield here. You can see it's uh, it's broken off at, uh, at the nut here and it's uh, it's making some noise. So uh, so we are going to fix that uh, today. So this is a, a, a 10 millimeter nut. We're just going to, uh, to loosen it up. Remove that. So I'm just using a, uh, I believe it's a, uh, a one and one quarter by one quarter uh, washer. So you just need to use a larger washer to take up the space so it will be able to uh to uh to mount the nut against this so we're just gonna install a washer here so we're just gonna install a washer here and just uh re reinstall the nut Just uh, tighten it up tight. And then uh, you, you should be all good to go after that. See, there's, there's no more noise now. It's not loose anymore. You can repeat the procedure for the other ones if you have any other loose ones. Or if you want to do all of them, uh, you can. You, you may need to use a smaller size washer for the hard to reach uh, spaces. It, it, or if you're not able to fit a large washer on, you might have to use a slightly smaller one. But this size, it, it works uh, perfectly fine. Now there isn't anything wrong with this one, but I'm just going to do the exact same thing so that uh, in the future if this piece breaks uh, i will have the washer on, on top of it so so we are just going to do the same exact thing for uh, for this side as well So this uh, this nut it just it keeps on spinning, but I don't know, it it seems to be uh, tight on there. Uh, you probably want to be careful to not to over tighten the the studs, otherwise you're just gonna have uh, on on what I did here. It's just going to keep on spinning, but it's probably okay because it's it's a uh, it's uh, secured on there. It's not loose or anything, so it it should be fine. So uh, that's all you need to know for uh, re repairing the exhaust heat shields. Uh, the same concept <laughs> applies to a, ma a majority of the heat shields on, on this vehicle and probably for uh, other vehicles too. Now uh, in case if you do have problems or if you uh, over tighten the stud or if... Uh, if, if it's if it's loose or if you're having some issues you can install the factory uh, a nut that came with it and and you can put a new nut on top to uh, tighten it down if you're having issues so you can tighten a nut on top of it and it should <laughs> secure it down if you want
So now it's uh, it's tightened down, so it's uh, secure now. This, uh, the new nut here, it just acts like a backup against the old nut. If if you accidentally if you if if you uh, over tighten it, so you can just put on a new one and then it will uh, tighten it up against the old one, and now it's not uh, loose anymore. Off camera, I checked it; it was a little bit loose, but now it's okay. <laughs>